Joining us now, advertising executive Sir Martin Sorrell. He's currently the executive chairman of S4 Capital and former CEO of WPP. Sir Martin, you, you were one of the first people I wanted to ask about, about Elon Musk owning Twitter now. Do you tell your big clients in advertising to do anything differently? Good evening, Sarah. Um, well, the, the answer is I think clients will, will want to wait and see. I mean, you just said uh, the, the data that we had from Elon Musk Early, early in the, the bid battle, was he was going to quintuple revenue from about five billion to 25 billion, and advertising would fall from 90 percent of revenue to 50 percent. Well, you do the maths, that means that advertising would be about 12 and a half billion, which is more than double where it is now. Now, that's 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 tough. He, he's saying he wants to redu yeah. reduce the dependence on advertising, but he's in fact in de facto doubling up. Now, now, Twitter is only about 1% of the, the market. The global digital media market uh, last year was probably about 450 billion. This year, it's about 500 billion. It's growing this year, despite what you see in here, by about 10%. Amazon, interestingly, last night uh, grew its ad revenues, or looks like it's going to grow its ad revenues from 30 to 40 billion. There's some bright spots at Microsoft, uh, particularly if it mm -hmm. snares Activision, bright spots at Apple. So I, I think it's not as gloomy a picture as some have painted. Even Google is grew last quarter, the Q3, by about 11%. Uh, and the prognostication for next year is that digital will grow. The ad revenue platforms will grow by 5 to 10%. But, but Twitter is a relatively yeah. small factor, about the same size uh, as uh, Snap. Uh, a bit bigger than Pinterest. So th that's the interesting thing from Musk's point of view. Uh, there was, mm -hmm. he said he might flirt with subscription revenue as well, which would boost yeah. revenues. So that's one area. There's ad revenues. But effectively, what he's saying is he wants to double up or more than double up on ad revenues. And clients are going to be, are going to be conservative until they see where he lands uh, in moderation on content. You've referred to this but moderation council, which is sort yes. of similar to the, the route that Meta and Facebook have taken. So we have to see, you know, clients don't like controversy. They won't flirt with uh -huh. it. We've seen that with Kanye West just recently, another example of it. So uh, I, I think we'll have to wait and see as to the potential. So Kanye West, I'm glad you brought it up. If he reinstates Kanye, who is, yay, his buddy, would that be a turnoff for advertisers? Would that, that be material? That would definitely... That, that would be definitely a turnoff. You've seen that with Adidas. You've seen that with it. Maybe Adidas moved a little bit too slowly on it, but uh, eventually they got there. You've seen that with Ari Emanuel uh, urging uh, his clients and contacts to, to move away. So uh, it, it would be. I mean, clients do not want controversy, particularly as we enter... What, uh, what about a, President a, a Trump? Tougher, a tougher... Well, uh, s same thing. I mean, people are going to be concerned... Uh, about controversy and concern about aligning themselves with it. So, as I said, I think we'll just have to wait and see. Having said that, when you look at the numbers, uh, with, with, with Twitter being roughly the same size as Snap, both offer interesting possibilities if you can get the content moderation piece right. And, and to mm -hmm. that point, I mean, Elon Musk tweeted uh, his major advertisers on on Twitter yesterday uh, and seemed to be extending an olive branch to advertisers. Agreed. And we, this move, move on the Moderation Council seems to indicate to me that he will be uh, moderate uh, in terms of content too. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.